this is Paul Russo from Motion Computing. And in this training se session, we're going to be discussing our new photo application called Snapworks. I'll be demoing Snapworks, and I'll be showing you all the key features that are embedded within the application itself. So let's talk about Snapworks. Snapworks is an advanced touch-centric photo application. It allows you to capture photos, annotate them, and share them. We built Snapworks based on the input from our existing customers across our three major verticals. That's point of sale, point of care, and point of service. So if you require image documentation as part of your daily workflow, these are the features that you'll most likely be using. You can date and timestamp a photo. If you have GPS capabilities within the tablet, you can geotag these photos as well with the longitude and latitude. The application is optimized for use in both pen and touch. You can annotate using text uh, via a keyboard. You can add shapes like a circle or even a, uh, an arrow to your photos. And obviously, you can add ink comments. You can share these photos right from Snapworks via email. You can copy them to a copy buffer, copy buffer, control C, control V and paste them into another application, or you can send these to a printer. You can control the brightness, you can edit the contrast, and also crop, rotate photos as well. There's a easy to use configuration settings that we'll go through, and you can change things like the uh, resolution of, the, of the, uh, the photos, where you want the photos stored, enabling the timestamp and geotagging, and so forth. All right, so, Let's get right into the actual application. So I'm going to close this. So I'm just going to tap here, and Snapworks will appear. But let's take a look at the main screen here, the viewfinder. Note that you have a series. Uh, it's a grid with a circle in the middle of it, of the viewfinder. This is so you can position your photo properly. All right, a really a great feature and a brand new feature here for us is optical zoom. So you can use your finger or the pen and you can zoom. Let's go all the way to the right. This will activate the camera. I'll take a picture right here. On the top here you have X will X you out of the application. Because this is a J3600, I can activate the, the light source on the, rear of the, on the rear of the unit that to illuminate a section. Help will bring me to the help utility where every icon is, is uh, defined for you. Let's go backwards here. If I tap X, I'm going to close the application, so I'm going to return. So up here on the top left-hand corner, there's your settings icon. And next to that is your icon that will uh, take you to where your file, your photos are located, the file directory where your, your files are located. All right, so before we go take a picture, let's take a look at the settings. All right, so you have your camera resolution settings, low, medium, and high. Uh, there below that is where you can store these images. You can edit it and point to wherever you want to store your images. Uh, your default saved image type, JPEG seems to be the, uh, the norm. Below that you have your, your, both your settings to activate the timestamp on the photo and geotagging with GPS and then language. All right, so let's go back here. I think we covered everything on the viewfinder. Now, Let's go take a photo, and then we can manipulate it, annotate it, and save it. Okay, so what we're going to do is take a picture of this electrical box and a breaker box. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to maybe zoom in a little bit. All right. And I'm going to try putting the light on, see how that works. And gives a little bit of a glare, so I'm going to turn that off. And I'm going to take a picture. You may have heard that audible clicking noise. So I have my uh, speakers up a little bit. Try one more time. Okay. So now we're going to be able to go off, select a photo, and then annotate it. Okay. We've taken our picture. Now let's go in and annotate it, manipulate it, and so forth. So I'm going to go to the uh, directory, and let's... 
see, let's grab this one here. All right. So um, looking at this uh, f photo, if I don't like this photo, I can delete it by tapping on the trash can. So let's do that. You want to delete it? Sure. All right. So let's go back into our photos, and we'll take this, well, pretty much the same photo. Remember I took a few of them? All right. So what are some of the actions we can do to manipulate this photo? So coming down the bottom left-hand side here, uh, you have a, it looks like a little sun icon, and you have a uh, text letter with a pen. So you can imagine, this one will probably manipulate the picture a little bit, allow you to crop it, add contrast and so forth, and, and brightness or reduce brightness, and this one will allow you to, to actually annotate the photo. So let's go to the first icon, and as you can see on the left-hand side is your contrast setting here on the left, on the far right is your brightness. Moving down to the bottom left, you can rotate the photo 90 degrees. Every time you tap on it, you can flip it, mirror image it, or more, more most importantly, you can crop it. So let's so we only really need um, I want to grab more than that, so let's grab this here like that. And when I tap Apply, my photo is now cropped. This is how it would be saved. So let's save it. Then, for, then we're going to go and we're going to annotate right on the photo. So I'll make sure I have the correct ink here. Red looks pretty good. I can grab a pen, magic marker, highlighter, and so forth. There's my eraser. So if I want to annotate on this, um, Move, replace. If I can't read that, I'll tap on the eraser, and I can erase it and try writing that again. Okay. All right. If I want to add a shape, If I want to add text, if I tap on the screen, a text box appears, and there is my keyboard. Oops. Oh. All right. So once I tap Apply, that is how my photo is saved. So from here, I can go Return, Save. Now I can further, now I can go in send this image either to email, printer, or to a copy buffer. So that's how easy it is to use Snapworks and the features within Snapworks. And if you have any questions regarding Snapworks, you can go to our website, motioncomputing.com, has more detailed instructions on using Snapworks. Questions regarding obtaining Snapworks and installing it for other motion tablets, please contact your motion representative. Thank you very much. That concludes this training session. If you require further assistance, your first point of contact is your motion service provider. If you would like more information about our deployment services offerings, you can contact me, Paul Russo, at training at motioncomputing.com. There's also a URL display at the bottom of the screen where you can access to learn about all our different deployment service offerings. Thank you.